Brakathu Yehowah Bahasham Yehowah Shai Brakathu Yehowah Bahasham Yehowah Shai Brakathu Yehowah Bahasham Yehowah Shai Kal Halal Yehowah Bahasham Yehowah Shai Bahasham Rika Kodash Give double honours to our apostles of Great Millstone Peace and salutation to our brothers pushing this truth throughout the four corners of the earth Shalom to our sincere brothers and sisters fearing and trusting and believing Yahweh Basham Yahushai Basham Rekakudash Do not be foolish Do not be foolish. Our apostles, our elders, brothers, they are not letting go. They are not letting go. And I tell you why. Can't you see? What Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai is doing to this earth at the moment? Can't you see? Water disasters, typhoons, floods, you name it. Yahweh Shai is about to touch down. Yahushai is about to visit. Visit, you know. This earth that he made. So again, again and again, for the record. That Yahushai is to be worshipped. Do not be foolish. Do not ever be foolish to think that we must not worship Yahweh Shai. Our apostles, elders, brothers can bring out a hundred of scriptures to back up. That Yahweh Shai must, not should be, Yao Shai must be worshipped. We know there's an order. Yahweh and his son Yahweh Shai. But there's no way what kind of spirit you're in to think, ever think that Yahusha is not to be wor worshipped because we cannot get to our Heavenly Father unless we go via Yahusha. I'm going to go to the book of Matthew chapter 14 start from 22 and you know <laughs> Yahweh Shai is so cool he's so collective yeah he's so tranquil he's easy listen I've got a smile on my face right now I have a smile on my face.
Yahweh Shai is the coolest of the coolest. Yahweh Shai is so cool, you better not mess with him. Don't mess with Yahweh Shai. Because you, you, you'll see the cool side to him and you'll also see the hot side to him. Do not be foolish. Matthew uh, 14, start from 22. And you know where, as soon as I start to, when I put, give you the heading, you know what I'm talking about. Yahweh Shai walks on water. And look what he's doing to this earth right now. Although Yahweh Shai is here right now, he hasn't even touched down yet. Look what happens when he's going to touch down. Wait until you see Yahweh Shai returns. When you see that real touch down, you're going to eat your words. I'm so overwhelmed now because wow oh, right listen Hi, Matthew um, 14 22 and straight away straight away Yahweh Shai constrained wow he constrained his disciples to get into a ship he compelled them he forced them he drove them to get into that ship and to to go before him onto the other side while he went Salakia, while he sent the multitudes away let me turn his light on oops i've got the light on i've got my glasses on i've got i have to even put an extra light that's how we need these new bodies, brother, brothers and sisters. We need these new bodies. Yeah? Oh, start again. And straightway, Yahweh Shai constrained his disciples to get into the sh a ship and to go before him unto the other side while he sent the multitudes away. Right? And that was just after... He fed the he fed the five thousand. He fed the five thousand. And when he had sent the multitude away, he went up into a mountain apart to pray. Who is he praying to? Who is he praying to? And when the evening was come, he was there alone. But the ship was now in the midst of the sea, tossed with waves, for the wind was contrary. And in the fourth watch of the night, Yahushai went unto them, walking on the sea. Go on, Yahushai, he said, that spiritual power. And that's nothing. That's nothing. He's walking on that sea, the roaring, the waves, the, the splashing up, yeah? All right? He didn't need no snorkel. He didn't need no goggles, right? He walked on that water. Full of style. Full of fashion. Come on, Yahushai. You're full of style. I'm telling you, Yahweh Shai is full of style. Can't wait to see their miracles coming. Can't wait. I was listening to Elder Apostle Gabar today, his, his live stream, and he said he wants to, listen, he wants to see with his living eyes when Yahweh Shai comes back to see the destruction to see the miracles happening. 
to see the awesome power. Listen, do not be foolish. Do not be foolish. Here we go now. And in the fourth watch of the night, Yahushai went unto them walking on the sea. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is a spirit? And they cried out for fear. Oh, I tell you something. They cried out for fear. And they've seen miracles. Yahweh shall perform miracles. We haven't seen nothing like that. Listen, we have not seen nothing like that. So the disciples they used to walk with Yahweh Shai and they used to see the miracles. They used to see the power. Now they even feared. They said they feared. They shouldn't fear. Because they see the miracles that Yahweh Shai performs on a, on a regular. Come on, listen. But straightway Yahushai spake unto them, saying, Be of good cheer. <laughs> it's like, come on, my man. come on, man. What's wrong with you? Come on, man. Can't you see it's me? I had two fish in my hand and two little loaf, and I feed 5,000, and now you're going to worry, see me walk in the water? Come on, man. Be a little bit. Come on. Do better than that, brothers. Brothers, do better than that, please. Be of good cheer. It is I. Be not afraid. Man. That's why when your house I return to know it's going to be a frightening thing. Because we've never ever seen miracles or divine in intervention or superpowers before our living eyes. Never ever ever. The most I does spiritual things for us to, you know, tiny little bits and pieces of little uh, gra gra uh, uh, um, 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 uh, uh, sand of the sea grains of little things to do to show us little little tiny little signs and we have to be baffled wow that was spiritual that was spiritual and imagine these disciples walk to the house and see all these miracles healing and doing all these things and still it feared so what are we going to do when we see Yahushai coming back? He's telling us, listen, do not fear, you know. Oh, man. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou bid me come unto thee on the water. Right? And the water gushing and the moving and this and that. Yeah? It's like Peter saying, what? I want some of that. I want some of that. Who doesn't want that kind of lovely spiritual power? But remember the order though. You have to remember the order. But who doesn't want having a little bit of that power? That spiritual power? Huh? In all righteousness. Woo! Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Man, I feel like flying now. I want to fly. I feel like flying now. I'm telling you. Wow. Wow. I'm telling you. I want some of that. Imagine Peter saying, yes, I want some of that. Let me come to you. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou bid me come unto thee on the water. And he said, come. <laughs> yeah, shall I say, no big thing. Eh? What you ask, you'll get. No big thing. But you have to believe in me. I'm going to show you powers through you if you believe in me. I'm going to show you my powers in you if you just believe in me. 
No doubt. And that's what we need, that faith. And he said, come. And when Peter was come down out on the ship, he walked on the water. Yeah, and he's imagine he walked. Yeah, this look nice. This feels good. This feels good, you know. Because he, he started to believe, he believed to go to Yahushai. But when he saw the wind boisterous, right, he started to get more, you know, up and down and the boat rocking, yes. And he said, oh, oh, right. So it, just, it shook him a little bit and he, and he took his eyes, he maybe took his eyes off of Yahushai for a second. Because he started to smile, he goes, wow, this feels good. And he started to walk. Because he believed in Yahushai, he says, come, come, come. Then all of a sudden he got a little bit distracted. He got a little bit distracted. That is the flesh when we get distracted. You see, we want to do spiritual things, you know, but it's that it's just that the flesh is holding us down. The flesh is holding us down. That's why in a twinkling of an eye, everything's going to you're going to change. That you fly, you do everything in miracles, you do wondrous things. Because guess what? You won't be in the flesh. That doubt, everything goes. Nothing's impossible with Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai. Nothing. But when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid and beginning to sink. He cried saying, Lord, save me. All right. That's when the flesh took over now, the doubt and whatever. You see? This is for our learning that we must have faith all the way. We must be doubtless all the way. And immediately Yahushai stretched forth his hand, right? And caught him and said unto him, Oh thou, oh little faith. He must be laughing at him. He says, come on man, come on. You let me down. I told you to come. Right? You see me do these things. I told you to come, right? I bid you to come. You started to come. All of a sudden now, you fall down. I have to grab you. There, again, there, there I go again, grabbing you, saving the day. Saving the day. So when Yahweh Shai comes back, what is he going to do? He's going to save the day again. That's Yahweh Shai. He's coming back to save the day. But if you're foolish and believe that you must not worship Yahweh Shai. You think he's going to come back to save the day for you? And immediately Yahushai stretched forth his hand and caught him and said unto him, O thou of little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? Eh? Do not doubt me. I told you to come, so why are you doubting me? And when they were come into the ship, the wind ceased. Oh boy, look on that. Look on that. Come on. So from that roaring wind. And as soon as the job is done, zoop, wind stop. Calm as ever. Who controls the wind? That's why the most I listen to me. Yahweh Shamashai controls all elements. You see what's happening on the flood? Yeah? All these, the, 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 the fires, the floods, the typhoons, all kinds of things happening now. Who's in control of all that? So if Yahushai says to walk through the fire, you walk through the fire because he's control of them elements. And when they were come into the ship, the wind ceased. Now here is the point I want to make. But I had to say it from the beginning. I had to read it. <clears throat> I had to read it. Alright? I had to read it. Alright? 
Matthews, Matthew chapter 14, verse 33. This is closed shop, right? Turn the sign away, turn the sign over from open to close. Yes, no more business for today. No more comeback. You can't come knocking that shop door, right? And to, to come purchase something that costs um, 50 pounds and you're willing to give the owner a million pounds for that 50 pound goods. The shop is closed. There's no turning back. Nothing is going to intrigue that shop owner. Well, of the world they would. But you cannot turn Yahushua's mind. You can't turn it back. You're not going to worship him. And you expect him when he returns now, when he touches down, you're going to look back and go, oh no, I'm sorry. You know what? I see your power. I'm going to worship you. No, 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 no. The shop is closed. The sign has turned from open to close. No business for today. No more business. This is it now. Then they that were in the ship came and worshipped. Oh boy. I have to say it again. Then they were, that were in the ship came and worshipped him, saying of a truth, Thou art the son of Yahweh. Yes, you are the son Yemen. That's it. You are the son of Yahweh. I'm going to worship you. So if you look into that word worship, quickly, Strong's G, four, three, five, two. Four, three, five, two. And I tell you what it says quickly. Right? I read a few of them. To kiss the hand towards one in token of reverence. Right? Two. Among the Orientals, the Persians, to fall upon the knees and touch the ground with the forehead as an expression of profound reverence. Three, in the New Testament, by kneeling or prostration to do hom homage to one or make ob 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 obeisance, obeisance, whether in order to express respect or to make supplication. Another one here. Used of homage shown to men and beings of superior rank. You see, that is what you mean by worshipping. Superior rank. Yahushua is to be worshipped. And listen, the brothers and elders are not let from our apostles, elders, brothers are not letting go you cannot let go of something like this you cannot push this under the rug this is a thing you cannot push under the rug you can't let it go so hope and pray this is edifying like i said brothers been pushing out scriptures proofs left right and center about that we must worship Yahweh Shai. Of course you must worship Yahweh Shai. Come on. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Right? And to those who are out there who, who are being foolish not to worship Yahweh Shai, Babakasha, 
There is time right now. Change your mind. Through the spirit of Yahweh, Basham Yahshai, Basham Rakakudash, Kwam Yasharallah.